Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. This is game number two of tonight of our nice little doubleheader. Got the Bethune Cookman Wildcats traveling to take on the fourth ranked Bryant Bulldogs in Smithfield, Rhode Island, guys. This should be uh, a decent matchup, I think. Bethune Cookman, they're one and one on the season. Bryant, they are a three and zero. Oh. And here are the ratings: just a B for Bryant and a D for Bethune Cookman. But I don't really put too much stock into those because, I mean, we just saw Prairie View and m beat Cal Poly last week, or two weeks ago, rather. So, pretty much anything can happen in this series. But I am looking forward to having Brandon Allen back in at halfback since he was injured for the majority of their game last week for the Bulldogs. And, yeah, let's get it. Let me pull up my chat. Montanez, 925 yards passing on the season. Six touchdowns for Allen. Four forced fumbles for the All-American outside linebacker, Cy Summers. One of my favorite players in the series. No question. Don't forget to slap the like button, folks. Subscribe if you're new. Join our lovely Discord community. And you can get yourself on the field on one of our 12 schools here in the FCS Dynasty. Play at least three seasons and get a chance at being drafted into the Elite Football League in Madden 2006. Bryson Shields in the chat. Marvin Joseph. Rocky Clearwater. What's going on, brother? That was a good kick. My goodness. You know I'm taking it out anyway. Hesitation. What's up? Let's get it. All right. Probably should have downed it. But, you know, I'm feeling froggy. What's up? I'm going to start it off. Play action. First thing. See what we can do here. Take a deep shot. Snoopy Tucker, one-on-one -on -one coverage. And he got it. Oh, my goodness. Down to the 30-yard line. Let's go. That was beautiful. As we take a nice look at this replay, we'll take a look at the offense. Led by junior quarterback Noel Montanez. He is backed up by sophomore quarterback Jason Stark. The halfback duo, Brandon Allen and A.J. Jordan. Receiving core, L.J. Topher and Snoopy Tucker. Tight end, Diego Martinez. And All-American left tackle, Kenneth Harrington. And Allen's going to pick up just a yard. All right, let's do FL Post. Already better than Polly. I know, this we get some big plays here for this for this offense. Okay. Tried to take it up the middle there. Had some pressure on the outside. Tackle got absolutely destroyed right there. Wow. Alright, third down and nine. Yeah, there's just some teams, you know, when they're just, they're on the field and just instantly you just know that they're gonna be really good on you know either side of the football. You just know. Oh, what a throw from Noel Montanez. He fired that thing in there. My goodness. That was a beautiful pass. That was a dart. Throw it up. Diego Martinez. Oh, he comes down with it. Let's go. Sophomore tight end with a 12-yard touchdown reception. And Bryant takes the early lead. I'm pretty sure he drops this twice. And comes down with it anyway. Let's go. Beautiful. And don't worry, guys, the Elite Football League is coming. It, I just have to wait until I have a rain day. So I'm not working during the day. And I can stream some games with that extra time. I just I can't do it at night. So at night, we're just going to keep the FCS series going. 
and I'm sure throughout the week, you know, every week I'll have at least one or two rain days, and we'll get some EFL action going here. And I'll actually be able to do commentary on it. It's going to be fun. Alright, let's see what we got here. Bethune Cookman on offense. We'll take a look at the defense for Bryant here in a moment. And Babineau stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Take a look at the defense. Led by Reuben Blueberry at defensive end. Senior defensive end Joe Owens. And Divine Adams at defensive tackle. A linebacking core led by Cy Summers and Stephon Okafor. And at cornerback junior Tadian Moss, number 20. For some reason, the graphic was delayed and would not get off of the screen. Feels bad. All right, third down to 14. All right, defense, let's get it. Oh, my goodness. Well, we get to stop. And Bryant will head back out on the field on offense here in a moment. Please don't talk. Please stop. Also, if you guys didn't know, uh, we got a shout out on Soft Drink TV on their latest NCAA Football 06 video. Go ahead and check that out. Look for my comment in the comments section as Brandon Allen just streaks down the sideline. He's gone. Goodbye. Yeah, show some love on that video. Slap a like on it. Find my comment in the comment section. Like that too. Let everybody know the FCS Dynasty is here to stay. Bill Stevens in the chat. What's going on, Bill? Ron Kemp in the chat again. What's going on, Ron? This will get ugly. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's a little too early. I don't know. Get him. Oh, he just, like, punched him and he fell over. Sick. Yeah, I don't think this video is going to get, uh, or this stream, rather, is going to get as much traction as the last one. You eating, Bill? What are you eating, man? I'm hungry. I All I've had today was... A couple bites of ice cream. That was after working out in the sun all day. Since I work two jobs, I, I paint. And, and then I come home, take care of my animals, clean up, and then go to my next job, working at UPS in the warehouse. Let's go, Cy Summers with a big hit, baby. Let's get it. Parker Thomas back in the chat. What's going on, Parker? Brandon Allen, zero Heisman's best player. I know, man. He's so... It's just insane how he has not won a Heisman yet. Second, twice. Come on. Oh, Joe Owens with the sack. Let's go. Roasted chicken and jasmine rice. Oh, my goodness. Your wife is tied. She got any friends, Bill? I'm on the market again. It's been 11 years. That sounds really delicious, though. My goodness. Oh, we almost blocked that. Brandon Allen back to return. Oh, my goodness. Just juked out two guys like it was nothing. I don't care about that clip. It's fine. It's fine. Why did, why did they decline that? Seriously, why did they just decline that? That's super weird. Cute cousin, it's about 38. Send her my way, Bill. Age is just a number. Come on now. I just want someone to love me. Alright, second down and six. Brandon Allen's a little bit tired here, so I'm going to throw it again. Yeah, we're going to 
can throw right to him. Wow. How does he miss that throw? <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. All right, let's go play action, Reed. Seriously, now I want some roasted chicken and jasmine rice. I, I want it. Snoopy Tucker wide open. First down inside the 35. That was a beautiful play. They had a linebacker on Snoopy. Get out of here. No way they're going to guard him. Not a chance. That's like trying to put a linebacker on Tyreek Hill. It's just not happening. find love the way FSU wants to make field goals oh my goodness <laughs> I mean I had love but you know things happen in life I, mean, I still love her so but enough about that oh boy what up? Why did he stop his route? I can't stand when they do that. Doesn't make any sense. All right, they're down 11. Oh, that's right. I forgot LJ Topher is injured. Oh, look at that block. Taking off. Oh, I thought I had him. That's all right, we'll kick a field goal. Try to at least. 47 yard attempt for Presley. I believe he's a true freshman. Let's see what the young guys got. I think I might have pushed that to the right a little bit. Nope. All right, let's go. I am on point today with field goals. Let's get it. How often can I say that? <laughs> Fafita. What a name. Oh, nice tackle. Who do you guys think is going to win the Savannah State and VMI game coming up? Number one versus number two. Cy Summers, another tackle for him on Babineau. Brings it up second down and seven. He wanted to pitch that, and then he saw Cy Summers, and he thought better of it. They're down to five. I think the Tigers are going to win it. Any score predictions? I think it's going to be a high-scoring affair, a defensive battle, or what? Oh, that was a nice run. First down. All right, 17-0 at the end of the first quarter. Bryant on top. Oh, you think VMI, Alex? Okay, I like the pick. I like it. Bryant's going to get the blowout win. <laughs> it happens sometimes, man. Think it's going to be a defensive game? Okay. Yeah, both teams have really good defenses, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. They also have really good offenses as well, so I think they're going to count each other pretty well. What is this offense? They just keep running the same plays. Looking like San Diego up in this beast. Come on, bro. All right, third down and five. Big time play for the Wildcats. Up with them, in. Quick pass. And Hicks has it for the first down. I respect that. I only have four rushing yards with Bryant right now. What do you mean? Get him. Get him. Nice tackle. It's Coleman on the stop, number 40. Now subscriber to the linebacker making a nice play. He'll end up in the EFL eventually as well. Probably a late round draft pick.
Get him. Oh, that was a nice cutback by Babino. He gets the first down. Okay. Okay. I see you, Bethune Cookman. I see you. Running back's pretty decent. Not that it matters because there's holding. I'm going to make a prediction for Savannah State VMI, guys. I think someone's going to win the game. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. I think it's going to be a game of the year. Face mask. Oh, they don't call it on Tady and Moss. There's a second down and 12. We got lucky right there. Usually that's a personal foul. Get him. Oh, he might be gone. Byram inside the 10 yard line. Bethune Cookman putting together a nice drive. Tidy and Moss having a hard time breaking off of that block in the secondary. Come on, let me get him. Let me get him. Uh-oh. Nice tackle. Let's go. Uncle Sam's reject go to Buffoon Cookman. Uh, you know, I I can't remember what college you went to. I don't watch him or anything. I just see him post on uh, the Flemlo Raps uh, Facebook page. That was a while ago that I saw him doing that, though. I don't think I don't know if he does that anymore. Of course, I don't really pay too much attention. This is a huge drive right now. It's taking up this entire quarter. And it's a face mask, so the drive will continue. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. He likes to do college sports. Yeah. I know he likes to do, uh, oh, come on, Joe, you just bounced right off him. Terrible. Touchdown, Wildcats. That was a fantastic drive. I couldn't stop them at all. This is crazy. What a drive. Man. I was saying something. I can't even remember now because that drive was just so insane. GG9? I don't know who that is either. I really am not like part of the like college football content scene. <laughs> like I used to watch it all the time. A whole bunch of people, but I just stopped. I should let these guys score more often. Not that I let them score right there, but I'm just saying. I get to hear the HBCU bands and I love it. Gold Glover 9. Yeah, I've never heard of that one. Peter always has one or two drives each game that seems unstoppable. Yeah, especially on Heisman. <laughs> There's no escaping it. Who wants it? Oh, he's wide open. Why not? I, I couldn't get any blocking, but whatever. We'll take a first down. I like it. Let's see who we got here. Newman Ma Martinez. Oh boy. Whites. And that's first down inside the 30 yard line. See, this offense I can do something with. 
Cal Poly, it's, it's a struggle all game long to get anything going. So frustrating. Look at those career numbers from Montanez. You'd love to see it. Nearing 6,000 passing yards for his career. Pretty good. Throw it up top. Snoopy Tucker, first down. And goal upcoming for the Bright Bulldogs. They have, oh, I was going to say, they don't have any star players on defense. That would have been extremely weird. Touchdown, Bryant. Brandon Allen with a score. Five yards, a run to the left side. Computer hates the user you. Yeah, I know. Well, you're really only in on, I think, one formation, Rocky. So You just got to hope that the computer calls that formation. All right, so we, you know, got scored on. They had an extremely long drive that took more than half a quarter. And then we took 41 seconds to score to make it a three-score game again. That was not a good kickoff. Oh, what a tackle by Doyle. Oh, my goodness. That was beautiful. Brandon Allen feature back in the EFL? Oh, 100%. If he doesn't get drafted in the top 10, there's something wrong with every single owner in that league. He is the best all-around halfback in college. I have him ranked number one on my board. Get him. Okay, nice tackle, nice tackle. Alright, third down to five. They really like these big formations, all bunched up. Come on, snap the ball. Snap it. Snap it! Yeah, you're not going anywhere, pal. Joe Owens, his third tackle of the night. All right, they're going to punt it away. We're going to get pretty good field position out of it. Yard line and gets it up to the 46. I'll take it. As always, don't forget to slap the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new and join our Discord community today to get your college football career started. Throw it up! Diego Martinez, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Oh, boy. The corner jumped right in front of him for that. That was a really good play. Actually, that was a linebacker. Okay. I knew he was going to pick it as soon as he, like, squeezed right in front of him. That was just a really good play by number 52, Cook. Should have been a pick. Feels bad. Get him. Oh, boy. Whew. Good thing that was an overthrow. TD Moss is a shutdown corner, but he is not the fastest. zone at defensive end. Be nice to see him actually make a play. Oh, Coleman with a nice play. Let's go. 
I love seeing the non-subscriber players out there balling. Like Adams last game. Filling in for Jay Washington in the first half. Two sacks and a pick all in one drive. Insane. Alright, Brandon Allen. Another return here from the 26. And great. Awesome. Fantastic. Oops. Right, let's go power option. Let's get it. Need Stephen A. Smith level criticism right now. <laughs> Don't criticize, man. All right, Alan, let's go. Let's go, baby. All the way to the 46-yard line. Appreciate that linebacker. You've never had a pick. You don't have a pick yet, Jay? Well, I do blitz you quite a bit. So it's understandable. Alright, throw it up to the non subscriber receiver, White. And that was way too easy. 46 yard bomb from Noel Montanez to White. Now 31 to 7 here in the second quarter. Tay Ray in the chat, what's going on, man? Appreciate you stopping by the stream. Monty is on fire. <laughs> yeah, other than that interception, but that pick was just a really, really good play by the linebacker. Oh, that was a clipping right there. My goodness. Fun fact, Noel Montanez is actually my best friend in real life. Shout out to you, Noel. I love you, brother. What in the world? Cy Summers just fell down on his face for no reason. Brian starting to really take control of the game. Yes, sir. That's what they do. That's why they've only lost a couple times in this series. Cy Summers in the zone at linebacker. Yeah, sit down. Try that back juke on me again, sucker. All right, let's see. First and ten, and they're going to have time for one more play. I think I'm going to blitz here just because. Come on, Cy, get him. Oh, man. Oh, let's go. Nice play by Stefan Okafor. And that's the end of the first half. 31-7 to is the score here in Smithfield, Rhode Island. Our next FCS Dynasty game is going to be number 10 Montana at number 3 Dayton in Big Ten play. That one will be tomorrow night around 9.30, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Nice kick. Let's go. No return for Kelly. All right, first and ten for the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats. They've had one extremely good drive, and the other ones, uh, not so much. You got the Flyers winning that one, Tay. I think it's going to be really good one. Montana beat Dayton last season. That was the Flyers' only loss leading up to the national championship game in which the Flyers lost that one, but still. They lost to Montana. They didn't win the Big Ten. Montana went on with Ray Neal and company to beat UC Davis in the Rose Bowl. Ray Neal now the quarterback for the New Jersey Invaders in the EFL. That play got blown up by Ruben Blueberry. Three tackles today, one for a loss. My goodness. You get a 42-38 prediction. I like it. I think it's going to be a really good game. 
Montana's been giving Dayton fits in this series for sure. Come on, snap the ball. What are you waiting for? Okay, good run. Good run, Byram. Okay. First down. Wow, cats. Montana got that kicker cheese. They did, they did have a good kicker, didn't they? He might be gone, though. I'm not sure. How am I missing? Oh, boy. I don't know how I'm missing these tackles with Summers. This is really kind of irritating me. Just let me tackle him, man. Get him. This guy's a beast. Oh, my goodness. This is another nice drive for Bethune Cookman as they're trying to stay in the game. Oh, that's right. 52 yard game winner by the freshman. Yes. Now I remember. How, how could I forget? Yeah, get out of here. Optimus is winning big time. I try, man. I really do. Alright, let's see. Third down and three. They're going to come out in a big formation here. Oh my goodness, what a hit. <laughs> oh wow. The Tadian Moss. Tadian Moss coming through from his cornerback spot to lay out the quarterback at the line of scrimmage. You started your own FCS dynasty. Nice. Portland State shut down Howard 70 to 14. Oh my goodness. Feels bad. Feels bad for Howard. Nice field goal for Bethune Cookman. And they're now down by three touchdowns. 31 to 10 is the score here in the third quarter in Smithfield, Rhode Island, as the number four ranked Bryant Bulldogs look to stay undefeated on the season here in year three of our FCS Dynasty. Snoopy Tucker on for the return on the right side. Let's see what he can do. Snoopy Tucker up the right sideline and has to go out of bounds. Momentum carried him right out of bounds. Wildcats are still kind of in this game. You can definitely see a lot of these teams improving over the last, you know, couple seasons. I mean, I know they're, you know, they're down by three touchdowns, but if this was last season or the season before that, we'd be winning by 60 right now. Brandon Allen in the zone at halfback. Look out, folks. And he gets the first down, I think. Very close, at least. And they do give it to him. He's still in the zone. We're going to keep feeding the beast. All right, we're going to switch this up left side. Hopefully get some blocking. And there goes that man again. Oh, nice tackle by the safety. Saving a touchdown. Okay. Wow. I wasn't expecting him to actually tackle him one-on-one -on -one like that. You don't see that very often against Brandon Allen. Throw it up. There's Davis. Wes Davis, the non-subscriber uh, fullback, former halfback. A nice reception for the first down. Oh, this should be an easy touchdown to the right, 100%. Touchdown, Bulldogs! Savannah versus Cal Poly, who you got? Uh, Tigers. <laughs> I don't even think it would be close this season. I don't know what's going on with that offense, but <laughs> if they went up against Savannah State, it'd be a blowout. It is now 38 to 10 here in the third. All right, Brashers 
boots it to the goal line. I just got lit up. Oh my goodness, what a block. Toss play left side, that goes nowhere. Tadian Moss, another nice play for the corner. He is a really good tackling cornerback. Don't you worry, Jay. We'll fix that offense. I don't know if it's going to be this season, but we will fix it. Oh, fumble! That's a. Oh, scoop and score, baby. That was too easy. Let's go! Oh, that was beautiful. Wow. Sai Summers with a broken tackle. I don't even know who forced that. Anybody see that number? Oh, whoops. It was Coleman. <laughs> Non-subscriber middle linebacker. I tell you guys, he's gonna be he's gonna be drafted into the EFL. He, he probably won't be a star, but he'll be pretty good. Who would the FCS poster boy be? Like, what do you mean? Like the, like the top FCS player? And there's a face mask. Awesome. Simulated the year. North Dakota State is number one. I'm not surprised. I think Cy Summers would be the poster boy. <laughs> the face of the series. Well, it would have to be... You know, one of the, the two Heisman winners, right? It had to be MJ or Mr. Highlight. I mean, you could even throw Brandon Allen in there. He's coming second twice now. But, I mean, those are the those are the top three players, really, if you think about it. I don't know if you could really single out one person to pick. I mean, the best defender, in my opinion, is Cy Summers. Um, the best overall player. I mean, Mr. Mr. Highlight does so much for his team. MJ does so much for his. Brandon Allen does it all for Bryant. Thirty-five point lead in, late in the third quarter. Yeah, well, it was it was twenty-eight, Marvin, and then we got a really quick scoop and score. Brandon Allen inside his own 15-yard line. Yeah, that was a nice tackle. Oh, nice. They're giving some really good one-on-one -on -one tackles against him in this game. I'm actually pretty impressed with them. <laughs> Oh, who do you guys think should be the poster boy? Oh, he's gone. Oh, maybe not. Wow, that cornerback closed in quick. Brandon Allen, over 400 yards rushing now in the season in four games. Demetrius George does it all for his team. <laughs> yeah, he played everywhere last season. Unfortunately, the team was terrible. And we couldn't do a whole lot. Feels real bad. I love me some prime time, though. I do. All right, that is going to be the final play of the third quarter. So get your fours up in the chat, folks. Bryant Bulldogs, number four in the nation, on top 45-10 to 10 here in Smithfield, Rhode Island, taking on the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats in ACC action. And Brandon Allen is in the zone.
Uh, second down and two at the 48-yard line of Bethune-Cookman. Oh, good lordy. Oh, he broke free from the whole defense. Look out. He's still going. Brandon Allen to the house. Touchdown, Brian. Oh, my goodness. What a run. <laughs> oh, maybe. Let's go. Wow. What a juke right at the end there, too. My goodness. Who's got Bryant winning the ACC? Oh, man. If they could upset Savannah State, whew, that would be insane. And we got the 50 burger here. Fifty two to ten in the fourth. Beast Quake 3.0. <laughs> that run was insane, man. Just absolutely insane. No way he should have scored right there. I thought I was dead to rights in the backfield. Summers, nice little tackle at the 24-yard line. And uh, I think I'm going to put some linebackers. See what we can do. See what we can do. Toss play. Cy Summers, another tackle for a loss. His sixth tackle tonight. And one for a loss. Almost at his average of seven tackles per game. Number 45 in zone, I believe that's Babineau, the fullback. Sit down. Why would you why would you try that on me? Like what are you doing? Stefan Okafor laying out the running back as well. Oh my goodness. I would love to see Cy Summers and Stefan Okafor lace them up on the same team again in the EFL. That would be insane. Fourth down and now, see if we can block it. Probably not, but you know, could happen eventually. Oh, what a kick! Oh my goodness, down to the 25 yard line. And Allen dropped. There's a flag for Clifton. Fantastic. HBC getting shafted as badly as they did after Southern School started integrating. Yeah. Unfortunately. Integrating the schools hurt two things, the racist and HBC recruiting. Rocky, I think he's talking about his dynasty, bud. Because Towson ain't in the ACC in this dynasty. William and Mary is. Alan will just have to have a longer touchdown run now. <laughs> Throw it up Diego Martinez Got him Sophomore tight end inside the 15 yard line Let's go That was a beautiful pump fake too Linebacker just kind of stood there Looking like a deer in the headlights No Rocky we saw it, but we definitely saw it. Wes Davis! Oh my goodness! Non subscriber fullback, the former halfback, the senior, gets in there for the score. Let's go! He was the starting running back in the FCS tournaments back in the day. That was beautiful. Beautiful drive. Replay 66 yards, 40 seconds off the clock. 
Goodness gracious. 59 to 10 here in the fourth. I do like the potential of Bethune Cookman. They definitely had a couple of nice drives, got some points on the board for this squad. Uh, they just need a little bit more speed and a little bit more talent uh, on the offensive side of the football. The running back is really good. Uh, the fullback, Babineau, he's pretty good. Actually, he might be a halfback. I'm not even sure anymore. He just got so many guys in the backfield. Oh, he got lit up by Stefan Okafor. 60 burger. I don't know, Bill. I don't know, buddy. We'll see. Plenty of time to do it. Oh, I just missed him. Marvin back in the chat with some uh, some vehicle shout-outs. I like it. First time I pumped up the crowd all game. I'm so used to all these away games lately, I just I forget to pump up the crowd now. Feels weird. And quick right pass right right side, and that was overthrown. Not even close. Let's try to block one. Let's do it. I'm telling you, we're gonna block one at some point in this series. It's gonna happen. We'll do the series until I block one. I don't care if it's a hundred seasons. Let's go. Dang, not that time. Brandon Allen on the return from his 23-yard line. And up past the 30. Seven punt returns for him in this game. My goodness. All right, let's get some younger fellas some play time. We'll put Jason Stark in there. And A.J. Jordan will get some carries now at halfback. A.J. Jordan ran for over 1,000 yards his freshman season. Had a nice little one two punch combo at tailback and it's runs like these oh my goodness can they catch him AJ Jordan inside the 10 oh my goodness shoestring tackle saving a touchdown yeah he is so good as well he is very underrated and overlooked not a lot of people talk about him but I would definitely draft him in the first round if he declares even though he's not a starter just the way he's built, the way he runs the football, his durability. He's a first-round talent in my eyes. He would have had a block by now, but Parker Cheese, oh my goodness, don't remind me, man. So close. I don't know what he was doing on that play, but it feels real bad. And there's A.J. Jordan, 60-burger for the Bryant Bulldogs. Hope you guys enjoyed the streams tonight. If you haven't already, go ahead and slap the like button on this one. We don't have a whole lot of likes on there. Subscribe if you are new and join our Discord community today to get your college football career started in this year's series. The link to the Discord is in the description below. After this, I am going to go eat me some barbecue chicken and then uh, pass out and wake up six hours later and go to work again and just do it all over again. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Can't you tell? Nice run. Even with this weird offense that they're running, they're still getting some pretty good drives out of it. I mean, there's two or three good drives. But if they can get some better offensive linemen to, to open up some of these holes for the running backs, this team is going to be pretty dangerous. Sixty-six GTO, yes, sir. Second down and 11. And 
Ruben Blueberry with the tackle for a loss. Yeah, if Bethune Cookman can get their offense to the way Rice has their offense, because they run similar styles, um, they're, they're going to end up being dangerous in the ACC. Oh, how'd I miss that? Oh, come on. They have potential, just not today. No, it might take a couple more seasons for them, but I think that they eventually will get really good in this series. It's always really fun to see, you know, which one of the schools in these big conferences actually gets it together and competes. Of course, you have some that compete right away, like William and Mary and Montana. You know, they've both been really good in this series. Run this clock out and get on out of here with a dub. Nice little conference victory for the Ryan Bulldogs. And A.J. Jordan gets another first down on the ground. Three carries, 80 yards, and a touchdown. They just they have no answer for him right now. Ryan's glory days are soon behind them. <laughs> Why must you say these things? They won the national championship before you did. I'm just saying. I didn't mean to do that. What in the world just happened? And it doesn't matter. Jason Stark, first down, and he fumbles it. Great. <laughs> Great. He doesn't get a lot of playing time, but I feel like he fumbles it every single time he plays. I just wanted to run the clock out. Is that too much to ask for? Like, seriously. Get out of my way. Let's go. Nice, Tay. Did you use all the, uh, the uniform sets and everything that I made and posted on my channel? Oh my goodness, Cy Summers, that man has a family. Oh my goodness. Wow. See what I'm saying, guys? Cy Summers is that man. He is a beast. A beast, if you will. Yo, give me a pick. Let's go. I bet you won't throw it my way. I'll probably run it. Nope, we're throwing it. Oh, I misjudged that one. Nice run by Smith. He's still going. Up past the 45-yard line. Oh, you added some new stuff to the uniforms? Nice. Well, I did make all these uniforms like three years ago, so. I'm sure there's been some changes. Oh, they actually snapped it, and that went nowhere. Divine Adams makes the tackle for a loss. You're in year 22 years, Bill. Nice. All right, Bethune Cookman. I mean, they kept fighting to the end right there. But Bryant is too talented, too fast, too strong, too unstoppable. And a big-time win for the Bryant Bulldogs. Number four team in the land. Nice little conference victory for them. We saw some backups get some playing time in here. And we saw Brandon Allen go off yet again. Defense played great. Cy Summers just absolutely destroying everybody. 867 total yards. Wow. No punts for Bryant. Just two penalties. Only three penalties all game for both squads. But yeah, if Bethune Cookman can get some more speed and a better offensive line, and maybe a little bit more speed on defense. This team is going to be pretty nasty in the future. Monson has 11 of 14, 281 yards, two touchdowns, one pick, zero sacks. Brandon Allen, 157 yards, three scores. AJ Jordan, three for 80 with a touchdown. Wes Davis, oh, he's a redshirt junior. That's for, I forgot that I redshirted him. I thought he was a senior this whole time. Jason Stark with a fumble. You got to love it. 
Snoopy Tucker, 4 for 115 yards. Nick White with a touchdown. This player right here, Nick White, is available for customization. So if you don't have a player and you would like one, you could customize this man right here. He's already got a touchdown under his name. Just saying. And Martinez, or Martinez rather, with a touchdown reception. Kenneth Harrington, a beast left tackle. Nine pancakes. Cy Summers, nine tackles, three for a loss. Ruben Blueberry, seven, two. And let's see, Tatey Moss, 5-1. Okafor, 4-2. Joe Owens, 4-2-1. Devine Adams, 4-3. Diego Martinez out here on special teams making stops. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. 3, 6, 9, 11, 13, 16, 17. 17 tackles for a loss for the defense. Two sacks. No interceptions, surprisingly. Three pass deflections. A forced fumble for Coleman. Recovered by Cy Summers for three yards and a touchdown Presley one of one field goals along a 48 9 of 9 extra points 11 kickoffs, 5 touchbacks for Matt Brashers no punts today Snoopy Tucker with a 47 yard kick return and an 80 yard punt return for a touchdown for Brandon Allen and that my friends is the end of this ball game Cook, Capers, Cook players of the game for Bethune, Cookman and for the Bryant Bulldogs, Brandon Allen, Cy Summers, and Noel Montanez are players of the game. And our next next stream is if I can put the graphic on the screen. There we go. Our next stream is going to be tomorrow night. We might just be doing just a single game tomorrow. Depends on how exhausted I am since you know I work two jobs and I do YouTube. So basically three jobs. Just non-stop working all day, every day. Um, but we'll most likely just do one and then we'll have the Savannah State and VMI game happen on Wednesday night but of course this could all change if I have a rain day so if it rains tomorrow and I have free time during the day which I will if it does rain uh, we'll be doing some streams then we'll be doing some EFL if it rains um, and we'll also do some FCS games because I'd like to try to get through these seasons as quickly as possible you know I, I I'm just sitting here by myself in this big old house doing nothing so I'd like to just keep it moving stay busy and yeah just try to have fun with it but that is gonna be it for this stream guys uh, if you haven't already slap the like button on your way out subscribe if you're new and yeah I'll see you guys in the discord community if you're not in there already join us there's a link in the description below Take it easy, guys.